Congratulations. Thanks. What pleased you most about that win today? First of all, the result. And, uh, well, in the end, the mentality to, to fight through. It was not our best game, especially in the first half. It was tough. We played against a very strong Aston Villa. They adapted completely to us. Their shape, never played in that shape, uh, them. And um, they did very, very good. They looked sharp. They looked aggressive. And uh, we lacked a bit of, of rhythm and, and especially also precision in, in the first half. Had easy ball losses and, and conceded yeah, a bit too many shots and too many half chances. Um, but we fought through. And second half, we controlled the game more. We had uh, ourselves better moments to accelerate the game, better, better chances in, in transition to, to score more goals. Lacked again precision, so it always was a kind of a for me a bit too open uh, the match but but still it, it can happen it can happen after a national break it can happen against any opponent and, and you know you will have over over this long time of, of the season you will have games that go so so and you feel so so if you are able to to win it in the end deserved and to win it even 3-0 is a good sign at the other end i know we spoke about romelu pre-match but you must be delighted to see him get two goals here today. yeah it's the best that can happen to us and to him it's his uh, debut here at Stamford bridge he scores twice and it was very very important the first one to open fortunately it didn't give us the the confidence that we expected and and to finish it with the second one was was perfect night for him and for cover, a goal and an yeah. assist. He's playing some good football this season, isn't he? Yes, he is. And and uh, we're very happy because it happens very rarely that he scores. So the, the post today was on his side and it was the inside of the post. And then the goal, very happy. I love the guy. Such a nice, nice guy and always ready to, to train and to fight and give everything for the team. We'll talk about the goals in a sec, but how important was your goalkeeper at 0-0 and then that double save at 1-0? Yeah, the top is... Uh, He's in uh, good shape and, and uh, Edu is a top personality and a good goalkeeper, so he's calm, he's composed and a lot of quality and was very, very important. But it's, it's like this, if you have a top, if you want to have a top team, you need top goalkeepers. So an unbeaten start, Thomas, another big test here, Tuesday night against Zenit. What's the plan for the next couple of days? Regeneration, recovery, recovery and recovery. It's only two days and Tuesday we are again here. It's important, beginning of the group stage in a home game that we are able to, to, to put another performance to, to win, hopefully. So, yeah, now it's, uh, it's only two days and uh, we need to use them carefully to be prepared for, for, for Tuesday. Good luck. Congratulations. Thanks.